I would highly suggest that if a looter breaks into your home, comes into your home while you're there to steal stuff, that you take your gun and you shoot him. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about Polk County, Florida, Sheriff Grady Judd giving the perfect recommendation to homeowners as it relates to looters who may be infringing upon their property. Because after the hurricane, Hurricane Ian, you have a lot of homes that have been destroyed or severely damaged. And a lot of people, a lot of these illegal aliens, by the way, I think there might have been four looters captured at, captured at once and three of the four were illegal aliens. But anyway, I digress. A lot of people, especially illegal aliens, criminals, they want to take advantage of that devastation. They want to try to invade your home that's partially damaged, totally destroyed or whatever, and take your items. Now, this is a disgusting practice. Stealing is bad enough. That's just being a thief is already wrong from the beginning. But being a thief when somebody's in a, a very low point in their life, when the house got destroyed or severely damaged, is just terrible. So I agree with what the sheriff said at the very beginning, and there's more to that clip. And if you want to see this full clip without me on it, I'll link to it in the box. But let's go back to Twitter right here. So shout, shout out to my man for this comment. Hold on one second. Let's go ahead and put it up, Max. Homes, they have a right for their property to be safe, even when part of their home may be torn away. And these looters, that's unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. I would highly suggest that if a looter breaks into your home, comes into your home while you're there to steal stuff, that you take your gun and you shoot him. You shoot him so that he looks like grated cheese. Because you know what? That's one looter that won't break into anyone else's home and take advantage of them when they're the most vulnerable and the most weak. He so again, shout out to Polk County Sheriff. Grady Judd, Polk County, Florida, for giving some great advice to homeowners. Hey, and he was very specific with what he said. He was very careful with what he said. He was like, hey, if you're at home, if you're at your home, if you're there and they come in while you're there and they try to loot and stuff like that, nah, at that point, you have license. Go ahead and just light them up. Fourth of July, Chinese New Year, Christmas morning with the, with the tree, with the star on the top, go ahead and light them up. This is not appropriate behavior to just go and take and do whatever you want to do. That's not how we operate in society, or at least we shouldn't be operating like that. You know, I, I think most of us would say that's not okay to do. And I think the sheriff is right on point with that. Now, some are going to say, well, he is inciting violence. He's encouraging violence. How is he encouraging violence? When he's talking about protecting yourself. When you're at home, you're, on, you're, you're in your residence, and somebody comes in, they break in to steal, to hurt you, to do whatever, you got to defend yourself because first of all, you have no idea what their intentions are. They're coming into your home. That's not their house. They know where they are. They know they're in someone else's house. So they could be armed. They could be on drugs. They could be trying to steal. They could be trying to hurt you, your kids, your family, your wife, or all the above. So, Hey man, you're in Florida, a second amendment friendly state. Go ahead. Light them up, light them up, get them out of here. OK, and I think that should be the advice that we see all over the place. I saw a sign out there in Florida that says loot here, die here. Now, some may say well, that's a funny joke. It's a meme. No, no, <laughs> I, I, you, you could say it's a meme. It could be used as a meme. But in reality, you can die behind trying to loot for somebody's home. Imagine you work your whole life to be able to put down payment furniture, all kind of stuff into a home. You've been there 15 years. All of a sudden, here comes some illegal alien high on drugs wanting to steal stuff from you, wanting to steal, some, you know, basic things or, or even, you know, a, a little bit more valuable and expensive things, sentimental items. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. You're not putting me in danger. You're not taking my livelihood away. Yes, my, my home is damaged. It may be even like to the point where it's condemned or destroyed, that does not give anyone the right to come and take things that don't belong to them without permission. So yeah, shout out to my man. And no, it's not, it's not a matter of trying to, you know, incite violence. It's just a matter of saying 
this is this what's going to happen to you if you infringe upon my property, if you infringe upon me, if you take rights away from me, well, hey, I'll return the favor. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about uh, Polk County, Florida, Sheriff Grady Judd and his, I guess you would say, warning, recommendation about looters? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Do you think that he was inciting violence against them? If you believe that or don't believe that, y'all let me know in the comments. But you guys know where I'm at. This was 100% the right thing to say, the right thing to do, okay? This should be the unified message all over the country. But, of course, you can't do that everywhere. And this is why on the left coast you have people that want to loot and steal and kill and thug and drug. And you got homicides rates going through the roof, property crime rates going through the roof, any kind of sexual assault going through the roof because there's little to no police ability to enforce laws to capture the criminals you can't really defend yourself guns are hard to come by and most hard to come by they want to tax you to death they want to process you to death that shouldn't be the way it goes because we see what the result is we see just a higher rate of crime the criminals the lawless of us don't care about laws they don't care about going to jail going to the penitentiary and the reason why they don't care is because there's little to no penalty for it. The good, hardworking American guy and girl, the family unit, nuclear family, we get punished for following the law and doing the right thing in some of these left coast liberal type places. But it's the exact opposite in the place like Florida, which is why so many Californians and Illinoisans and New Yorkers are fleeing to places like Florida. Very simple. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.